Hey my loves, welcome back. So today's video is going to be a first impression kind of video on the Anastasia Beverly Hills foundation stick. Now this has been out for a while now, but it's my first time getting my hands on it. Everywhere where I wanted to like shop at, like Ulta, Sephora, even online, it was always sold out in my color, what, well, what I thought was my color. So um, this is what the packaging of the actual box looks like. And I got the color Warm Tan. It retails about $25. And like I said, you could get it from Ulta, Sephora, Anastasia's website, Macy's. I did see it at Macy's, but it was sold out on my color. So this is what the packaging looks like. It's just black sleek with the gold or rose gold trim. Her name, Anastasia Beverly Hills on it. And this is, the top comes off. And this is what it looks like. It's a good amount. It doesn't smell like anything really. It just smells like foundation. And this foundation comes in 0.32 ounce, I believe, whatever. Oh, look it, I'm already getting it dirty. So if you wanna see how this foundation works on me, stay tuned. Seeing people apply this with like no primer, primer, but I always use primer, so I'm just gonna stick to what I do on a normal basis. So I'm going to use the e.l.f. Hydrating Primer since my skin has been very, very dry lately from the winter. On one half of my face, I'm going to use my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush, which looks like this. And then on the other side, I'm going to use my Beauty Blender. So um, I'm just going to apply this on my face. I don't know if it's because of the the primer, it comes off really s soft, like silky. And I'm just going to apply that one with the brush. Um, so applying it with a brush, it, it feels nice. It doesn't feel like I have anything on my face, really. But I can see, like, right here, it looks a little bit patchy. I don't know if it's because of my skin being dry. But it's so weird. It's so weird. So I'm just going to apply the um, foundation now on the other side of my face. And I have a little bit of um, scarring from acne. Oh my God, when I had my son, I broke out so much, you guys. Like, that kid gave me the worst acne ever. So I'm just gonna apply this with the Beauty Blender. Beauty Blender. <laughs> So this is definitely like a medium coverage or not even medium because you can still see the scarring. But I like how it applies with the Beauty Blender way better. So that's just one layer. Hold on, my lighting is sucked right now. Anyway, how's that? I don't know, whatever. But, you see? You can still see, but it feels really nice. I'm gonna just apply this, blend it out. I'm just gonna apply another layer to see how much coverage it could build up to.
You know? And I'm just going to use the Beauty Blender since I like how it applies better. So, uh, it's still a little weird right here. I don't know if it's just my skin, but you can still see just a very little of the scarring now. Um, I definitely will say this is like a medium coverage. Maybe you can build it up to full coverage. You know? But I'm not mad about it. I mean, I like it. It just looks a little patchy in some areas. And I think it's honestly because how dry my skin is. But... I don't know. I'm really not sure. I definitely like how it feels on the skin. It really doesn't feel like I have anything on. Um, which is kind of cool because I hate when foundations actually feel like you have like tons of makeup. But I don't know. I feel like this is like almost like an everyday foundation that you can wear. Where it's not so cakey. And it still kind of looks like Skin because I can see like you know my burp my beauty marks do you see like my beauty marks and then my pimples whatever or the you know but it feels really it feels really nice it does <laughs> transfer so um I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup and then I'll check in with you guys after I'm finished so this is when my makeup completely done um I like how it feels like it really feels amazing it doesn't feel like anything is on my skin um, I think the color matches me very well so I'm happy about that um, so for reference I am a Mac NC 42 I could go for 40 during the winter time when I'm very pale, like lighter not pale because I am a little bit tan because I'm half Puerto Rican and a block but anyway so I actually really like how my makeup apply like over it. Um, it's still like right here a little bit dry. I sprayed um, some setting spray so I made it a little bit better. Actually like a lot better actually. It doesn't look as drying as I thought it did in the beginning. So I'm going to try this out for a couple days, but so far I actually really, really like it. Like for $25, I mean, it's really good. <laughs> it's really good. And for it to not be liquid, this is my first time using like a stick foundation, almost like a cream. I mean, I use the Morphe palette, but I feel like this one is a little bit more better for actually like a base for like a foundation base. Um... I wish you guys could see the color like my lighting is not working with me today but we're gonna figure it out I'm using a new camera so maybe that's why I still have to get used to like the settings and stuff and then the Sun is so bright I have my shades closed and it's still beaming like I wish you guys could see like how it really is but this is a close-up my forehead like it really actually looks good so yeah so my first impression is I really love it I'll leave the link down below where I got it from I did pick this up from Sephora and I just picked it up in my store so yeah like I don't know I really like I really like this foundation too I would definitely recommend this to you guys 
for $25, it's, it's really good. Like, really, 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 really good. So, yeah, I'm gonna press. I do prefer it with the Beauty Blender instead of the brush because the brush made it a little bit more patchy than I would like it to be. So, I prefer the Beauty Blender. Make sure it's damp, not fully wet. Like, you want to squeeze it before you even use it. So, yeah, and... Um, this makeup, I'll leave all the products below of what I use. I use the new um, Amrezy 88 liquid lipstick. She sent this to me in the mail yesterday and I was like, what? I need to try it. So yeah, if you guys like this video, please thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, channel. <laughs> if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. Um, videos will go up every Sunday and Wednesday. This week, the week of the holidays of Christmas being on Sunday and stuff, I didn't post because, of course, I was with family. And then Wednesday, I was like, eh, let me just relax. So definitely this will be going up on Sunday or Wednesday, whatever I feel like it. But every video, every new video will come up every Wednesdays and Sundays. So stay tuned to that. And if you want to, subscribe because then you won't miss out. Well, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Okay, hey everyone, so it's been a couple hours since I did my makeup. It's actually been eight hours since I finished, probably nine, because um, I, I stopped around 11.30 to, you know, when I finished my makeup, and I'm actually, it's 7.04. I'm about to wash this junk off my face, but I just wanted to give back, um, come back on and give you a little bit of an update. So the foundation actually wears very nicely. And it really don't feel like I have anything on my face. Um, when I go like this, it does not transfer. Maybe let's use a white shirt. No. <laughs> I mean, it could bring my setting spray too. But let's do a close-up. Um, before it did look a little bit patchy around this area, but I set my face and um, I use I just use the Wet n Wild um, setting spray. This little thingy right here, um, this setting spray I use, and I really really love how it it is. So I want to say that this Anastasia um, foundation stick is going to be a keeper so I'm gonna use it a few more days and I'll just leave down in the description box you know my final review but as I'm wearing it for the rest of the whole day basically I love it I love it now um, I probably just need to moisturize my face a little bit more than just using my um my elf hydrating primer I just probably will have to like really moisturize and prime before adding this but Overall, I love it, and yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video.